We're jumping right into these Dollar Tree Easter projects with Cricut. Starting with the Dollar Tree iron on in black, I cut out this cross image that I found on Canva by searching Easter and filtering for free designs. And this is one way to find free designs for personal projects. Now here are the cut settings that I used for this iron-on and you can see from the weeded result that the quality is pretty decent. These color your own ornaments are the perfect size for hanging just about anywhere and if you have kids this project is a nice alternative to coloring pages. So I used a glass cutting board under the wood cutout so that the pressure wouldn't create any cracks. I preheated the cutout and pressed the design with my mini heat press for about 15 seconds and peeled the protective sheet while still slightly warm. Now if you don't have a heat press you can still make these with permanent adhesive vinyl. Just cut your design out as normal and use transfer paper to place the design on the wood cutout. Now, just don't use a strong grip transfer tape because that will cause splintering in the wood. And burnish it really well to make sure the design adheres properly. How cute are these for a kid's Easter craft? Next, this peak blush is from the Dollar Tree Plus section and my son loves the Peeps marshmallows so I personalized this one for him. I did use a Cricut Access font which I thought was similar to the Peeps brand but I am working on a video for free fonts so be sure to subscribe for that. And just a quick reminder to always turn mirror on when using iron on. For this project, I used a brown iron-on by the brand 405, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. And they do have instructions on the box, but I did do a test press for good measure. Pause here for the cut settings. And remember, when we're placing iron-on on any fabric, we want to use a lint roller to remove any dust and preheat the area to be pressed. Pause again for the heat press settings and let me know in the comments if you have kids that love plush toys. For this last project, we're going to customize this t-shirt from Dollar Tree because I really wanted to test out the foil iron-on. And sticking with the Peeps theme, this is another free Canva design. And to upload in Design Space, we're going to click Upload and find the file. I like to choose Complex when choosing the image type. And then if you need to remove the background, if you don't have Cricut access, just scroll down to manual removal and use the select to erase the white page. And once we hit apply, we need to save it as a cut image. Now I wanted to add eyes and a nose to the bunnies. So I used the circle shape to add those. And once I had them all in place, used the exclude button to cut them out of the bunny shapes. I cut a bunny shape from each of the foil iron-on colors and once again the settings will be on the screen for the cut and the heat press and I used my ruler to find the placement for the first bunny in the center and once it was pressed, I placed the other colors on either side and pressed each one individually. All of these projects were cut with the Cricut Joy, so these are perfect 
for beginners to try out. Leave the word joy in the comments if you want more crafts for the kids and I'll see you in the next one.